Madrid Club Max. Where were you born? I was born in Gate Memorial Hospital and I grew up in a place called Harry Neck. Describe the history of your community. Harry Neck is a place which consists of three islands, Ship Island, Saud Arbor Island, and New World Island. And the name comes from a practice that fishermen used to have to carry herring across a narrow nick of land uh, to avoid heavy seas. And the first settler was a man by the name of Jimmy Chant, who came to Harry Nick in 1760. What was life growing up? Describe it, A. Well, during the school, when we go to school, Grandpa would have to uh, go to school early in the morning and light the fire in the stove so the, cl so the classroom would be warmed up for the students when they got there at 9.30. And then after school, probably during the winter, we would go for rides on a dog team or during the spring or summer, we would go swimming and catching Connors and Tomcods and also uh, we would also catch lobsters. Grandpa used to have uh, some lobster pots where he would catch lobsters. Where did, where did you go to school? I went to school on ship on to a one-room school. What, what's your favorite subject? My favorite subject was geography. What did you like to do in your spare time? Well, I would like to, we used to sail boats in some of the brooks around, and we would also make our own boats, and uh, we would also catch corners and tomcats and go swimming and skating during the winter. Okay. What kind of chores did you do? Well, one of the things we had to do was to, uh, we had to bring water from the well because we had no running water. So we would use buckets and a hoop to bring the water. And we'd also have to uh, get uh, splits for lighting the fire in the mornings and keep the wood box full of wood <coughs> uh, for the night time. Mm. What advice can you give to young people today about preserving our heritage? Well, one bit of advice that I would give you is what you're doing now. Interviewing your, grand, your grandfathers or your grandparents and finding out how they lived and what they did in their spare time. Describe the climate, vegetation, landforms, and bodies of water of your community. Well, some winter, every winter was not the same, but lots of times it was different from what it is now. We used to have lots of snow and the winters were much colder, and the summers were much warmer. And there was a lot, uh, there was a lot, uh, the area was made up of a lot of bays and tickles and harbors, and the land was very hilly, and there were also uh, different types of uh, trees like spruce and fir and birch and alders and haps, aspen, Okay. And lots of blueberry bushes and parrotish berry bushes where you can pick parrotish berries and blueberries. How is life different today compared to when you were my age? It's quite different because uh, when I was your age, we had no electricity, we had no running water, we had no bathrooms in the house, we had to go out and use a hot house, we had no cars. We had to walk or go by boat or go by horse or horse or a dog team. Where do your ancestors come from? My ancestors came from the southern part of England, a place called Dorset. Thank you for in coming here. Well, you're quite welcome. And this is the end of me interviewing my grandpa. Bye. Bye. The most interesting thing is that Harry Neck is made out of three islands. 
My grandpa is 70 years old and up to grade kindergarten to grade 11, they only have one classroom. And I didn't know my grandpa used to skate. This is my grandpa's house. It had no electricity, so they had no lights. But in my house, we do have lights. They had no running water, so they had to go to the well, but we got running water. And they had to go into the wa um They didn't have no washroom, so they had, they had to go to the outhouse. This is my grandpa's transportation. It is a boat. In the winter, they, they travel by a dog team. My transportation is cars, trucks, buses, and all that stuff. My grandpa's school, they had a one-room classroom for all of the grades. That's grade K to grade 11. But in my school, we have around four classrooms for each grade. For fun, my grandpa used to go on the dog team in the winter and ride them. But um, in the winter, we got to go on skidoos.